monolithic core. The Wolverine PBS-1 from Dead Air Armament is a suppressor designed primarily for use on 8Ks with a lot of neat features that we really haven't seen in the American suppressor market before. So starting out, let's go ahead and open the box and we'll take a look at what the Wolverine PBS-1 comes with. Right off hand you'll see the instruction manual, a ration card, a patch, the Wolverine PBS-1 itself. An additional piece we'll discuss here in a couple minutes and a tool for use on it. For basic technical specifications, the Wolverine PBS-1 is rated up to 7.62 by 54R. It's 7.4 inches long and 19.8 to 24.4 ounces depending on the mount you're going to be using. It has a 1.5 inch diameter main tube with a 1.93 outer diameter near the rear of the suppressor. It features a Cerakote body with nitrided parts and no minimum barrel length restrictions just like Dead Air's other centerfire rifle suppressors. And like their other suppressors, it does have replaceable front caps and out of the box it comes with a 14 left hand thread insert. There's a number of other thread inserts available and soon to be available such as 14 right hand, 24 right hand, 26 left hand, 15 and 16 mil, half by 28, 5 eighths by 24, and 9 sixteenths left hand. Traditionally AKs have been pretty difficult to suppress for a number of reasons. Those include non-concentric threads, a lot of blowback, and just the action leaving a suppressed AK still very loud to the shooter. The Wolverine PBS-1 addresses those issues in some neat ways. It's an extremely low back pressure can, so it ends up being designed to be a little quieter to the shooter than traditional rifle cans, as well as mitigating some of the blowback you might see in other suppressors when they're put on AKs. The non-concentric thread issue is done in kind of a neat way. It indexes off the muzzle. The baffles are cut to be very forgiving should it not be lined up perfectly straight and then uses that little pin which we'll look at in installation here in a second to keep it indexed properly. There's three big things that can go wrong on an 8k barrel. One is the threads not being cut concentric to the barrel. One is the bore not being lined up exactly straight with the barrel and the other one is the actual muzzle not being cut square. The Wolverine can address two of those issues if they're pretty bad but not all three at once. What this means is most all AKs, you're going to be able to put the suppressor on and have great results when maybe you wouldn't with a traditional rifle suppressor. That being said, if your AK barrel is just extremely poorly made, you still may have some issues, but not nearly as likely as you would with a traditional centerfire rifle suppressor. As far as installation goes, we're going to look at this in two parts. The first being changing the thread mount itself out, and the second being installing it on the host weapon. So to change the thread mount out, you'll grab your Wolverine PBS-1 and unscrew that lock ring. When that's off and set aside, you'll take the collar and press it forward and rotate. You want to rotate it until the dot on the collar lines up with the dot on the suppressor body. When those two are lined up, the collar simply pops off and you can go ahead and pull that spring out. With that aside, you can take either the provided wrench or whatever favorite wrench you have, put it over that thread mount, and simply unscrew it. You'll then grab the desired thread mount. So in this case, we'll put back in that 14 and screw it in. Once it's in there, just reverse the process and tighten it up. Put the spring back on, and at this point, you'll need the correct size collar. 
we showed the larger one in the unboxing, which would be used on like 24 and 26. In this case, 14 needs a smaller one. So put it back on with the dots lined up. Rotate a little bit to make sure it's on there. Or rotate even more, and we'll get into what that does here in a minute. And simply screw that lock ring back on. It doesn't take too long, and it's fairly easy to change out those thread mounts. Installing the Dead Air Wolverine PBS-1 onto a host firearm is a little bit different than some other centerfire rifle suppressors, but it's really not that complicated. So starting out, you're going to open this lock ring up. And this is basically the fully closed position where that index pin on the AK is going to set into one of those little divots there. The other positions are if you press that ring forward and turn it, there's one where it's all the way open, allowing you to get a wrench on that thread insert to tighten it up onto the barrel a little more. And then one that's a neutral position that's good for just hand tightening on there. So for this one, we're going to set it to where these are all the way retracted and you can see the majority of that thread mount sticking out. When that's on there, go ahead and screw it onto the barrel of the AK and it's going to index off the muzzle. So get it good and tight and it may even be recommended to use a wrench not to really torque it on there but just to make sure it's secure. When that's on there you'll pull that locking ring collar forward and that will allow it to press down to where that index pin goes inside there. Tighten up that ring again all the way and you're good to go. Essentially what that does is it allows it to index it off the muzzle but puts pressure on this this collar that goes into the index pin to keep it from backing off when when you're shooting and just uh, mitigate some of the chances of vibrations causing the suppressor to come off the barrel. Looking at decibel reduction, we were using Tula 762 by 39 ammo and we had a 167.8 decibel unsuppressed shot and an average of 136.4 decibels with really no perceivable first round pop. Dead Air states in their testing 135.1 to 139.7 was the average they were getting depending on the type of AK used. It is worth noting these numbers are at the muzzle and it does sound significantly quieter to the ear than some other centerfire rifle suppressors on the market. All in all, I think Dead Air Armament accomplished exactly what they were looking to do with the Wolverine PBS-1. They made a suppressor that reduces blowback, reduces noise to the shooter, looks like the traditional Russian PBS, and solves a lot of the issues with non-concentric barrels that are present on AKs. Additionally, you can certainly use it on any 5 8 by 24 or half by 28 rifle. You just need that specific thread insert. So while it's an AK-centric can, it doesn't necessarily have to be used on an AK. If you have any questions on the Wolverine PBS-1 or any of the other suppressors we sell, absolutely feel free to call, email us, or stop into the shop.